didn't know I was waiting for somebody to do, a, to do an introduction or do I start? Okay. All right, okay, that makes it easier. Do you want this video? Because maybe people can go home and we don't, but if you want a video, we can. I mean, ideally, people can join from outside, but since this was just approved on Friday and I just announced it today, I think the odds of someone actually watching it are going to be relatively low. But yeah, like I said, I mean, I poked a few specific people and I announced it, but I, you know, that was a couple hours ago, so it's early enough in North America still that... Okay. No, no worries. Um, all right, so the, this is going to be incredibly informal. Um, so uh, I have a couple of slides, but the idea behind this is mostly to get some like-minded people in the same room um, and talk about what we're trying to do um, and, uh, you know, hopefully move from there. Um, so some of this is also around uh, SIGs. Uh, we've been trying to a combination of reviving some old SIGs, creating some new ones, um, and because uh, a lot of the, the old AI and machine learning SIGs were activityless. Um, so we were trying to revive some of that. Um, the, um, there's been a renewed, at least a recently a renewed um, effort to try and get the more the heterogeneous compute stuff in Fedora. Um, in particular, um, there's momentum around the AMD's Rock M stack. Um, there's question of whether that should be the same SIG, whether it shouldn't be. Um, sorry, because this was just accepted on Friday. <laughs> um, I, I did not have a whole lot of time to prepare. Um, so I mean, there's, like I said, that's going on is Rock M. Uh, we've got several packages um, approved. I'm not sure we're going to hit it before. I don't, th I don't think we're going to finish before uh, Fedora 39 branches. Um, but mm, I'm, I'm, in, I'm always up for being surprised in that area. Um, one of the, t the targets is to have enough of ROCKM so that we can have accelerated PyTorch running on Fedora. Um, and I think there's some other work being done on particularly Blender um, to try and get Blender's uh, functionality for accelerators working with uh, AMD hardware. Um, there are some very early plans around trying to get PyTorch uh, packaged in Fedora. Um, there, it's, I mean, it, it's, it's early enough that the, the few things that need to be done um, are mostly in the Fedora Discourse instance. Um, like one thing I wanted to get, I don't know if anyone here has feedback for, um, there've been, there's been some uh, discussion on how to do communication. Um, I requested a matrix channel, um, an IRC, given the number of people who have chatted in that, it's either not known or nobody wanted it in the first place. Um, I'm unclear. Does anyone have any thoughts on, is Matrix even something something people you know, still want? I mean, there's no one in IRC either. It's just a, it's dead uh, I, <laughs> and has been. I see stuff, so this is, uh, it, it's being recorded, I'll call out Red Hatters anyways, right? Um, so there are people at Red Hat who have Fedora accounts that are involved in Fedora um, who there's an internal Slack AI channel that people post on yeah. where they could just post this stuff on the public one or in e either the chat or the, I, I have been, you know, gently nudging um, for a while. I don't know. Uh, I think more gently nudging would yeah. help. But I mean, that's, I, that's for the internal stuff. I don't yeah. think everyone here is. I, right, I don't mind there being an internal thing, but a yeah. lot of that internal stuff could be brought out to there, and I think that will help. And then once that will make it not feel dead, and then people will feel like it's yeah. a place to I mean, be. But it? yeah, other people who are not redheaders, um, I'm not blaming you. If you are a redheader who should be called out here, I'm 
Yeah, I don't. Whatever. Other yeah, I don't than the any... <laughs> two of us, I don't yeah, no. think I see anyone who's right. been a regular yeah. on the so, AI Slack channel. Um, but yeah, um, I will then drop my mic and let somebody else respond. No, it seems like a lot of silence. So it's either people don't care a whole lot, or I mean, there's no violent objection. Um, or uh, one of the things that I've honestly, I, I didn't come up with it. I don't remember who did. Um, of Fedora being a duocracy. You know, it's only going to happen if you put boots on the ground and actually do it, and if no one stops you, then it gets done. Robin. Yeah, that, that sounds some, yeah, that sounds like something I think Robin would say, but, um, yeah, like I guess I don't think, I remember hearing it from somewhere, but it's been long enough, I don't remember where. So, uh, I guess we'll just kind of keep going with that. Um, the other one has been a bit around, and this is a, some of a larger discussion around mailing list versus discourse. Um, the, I think the current plan is to get rid of the mailing list that isn't being used and just kind of keep things on discourse because that seems to be the direction things are heading in, um, regardless of what anyone feels about mailing lists. There are practicalities involved um, that I think has really, had really pushed me that direction. It's just, it's the maintenance burden of mailman on the infra folks. Um, so if there's no, vi I the thoughts, I, there seems to be more activity on discourse than there is uh, in matrix, at least within, for the, the AIML stuff. Um, one of the other, the other things that the, the, I didn't make a slide for it. Um, so how many, folks are interested in more of the AIML stuff versus the heterogeneous compute. And anyone the other way around more interested in the other, the more like the, the accelerated blender, um, that kind of stuff? Or not just, uh, you know, ROCKM, uh, you know, like Intel's one API would fit into that as well. Um, there has been some question around whether they should be the same SIG or different SIGs. So I'm just trying to get information for that. Um, I don't know who would lead, who's going to, well, there's, that's always the question, is who's going to put the time into, into running all of it? Um, I don't think we have an answer for that, but the voices who most wanted to see them separate are not able to be here. So <laughs> the silence in this room does not necessarily cons uh, make consensus. Yeah. I don't want there to be two small groups that are like, oh, we can never have enough people, and then if they would just, just like, yep. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I just, I, I don't really care. I just don't want there to be two small groups that are never able to find a time where they can both get together, never find enough people to do anything, when if everybody would make one combined group, there would be better. Yeah, and so just, there's just more, I think, a little more discussion to be had because there was one person in particular who wanted to see them separate, and I don't think anyone else cared, so it's going to be, honestly, I think it's going to be up on him. If he wants to lead a separate group, then I'm not going to stop him. Um, let's see. Uh, just more stuff of, you know, is, is this, are there other things that folks are interested in? These are the things that came to my mind first in terms of, you know, both the AI machine learning and the, the heterogeneous compute. Um, some of the stuff is close to others. One API is quite frankly a ways away from being packageable in Fedora. Um, there's stuff that needs to happen upstream before that's something that could even go into the repos. So that's further out. Um, like I said, ROCKM, hopefully we will have so enough to run PyTorch on by the time Fedora 40 releases, um, at least at the rate we're going. Um, and PyTorch is an ongoing uh, discussion. Um, there is quite a bit of work to be done there in terms of dependency packaging, in terms of questions around how we can do it, what can, we can support, um, you know, whether, you know, whether we like it or not, NVIDIA is the 800 pound gorilla um, when it comes to the scientific computing. Um, but the way they license their software, it's not something we can distribute in the Fedora repos. So. Um, you know, can we build things in such a way that you could just install part of it from like RPM Fusion or have directions so that you could download and do it yourself? 
there are, there are a lot of these questions that have not been answered yet. They're kind of on the list of stuff to do for PyTorch. Do you know how far off there, the driver, open source driver they released was supposed to be GPU computing focused? In, I, yeah. it depends on which part. My, ex with my experience with working with NVIDIA stack for um, AIML, the driver's not the problem. Um, the biggest hurdle that I've always had is the, the CUDNN, the, the neural network specific stuff that's built on top of CUDA. That has the most stringent requirements on you have to have, you know, some version, some range version of GCC, some range version of um, GLIBC and all that kind of stuff um, where I don't think I've ever, s the times I've looked at it, you can't find those in, in the same release of Fedora that's currently supported if that makes any sense. So the problem with like PyTorch and whatnot on NVIDIA, is in Fedora it's not the driver part, it's the CU, it, it, it's the CUDA to a certain extent, but the CUDNN um, stuff that's built, that's the neural network specific stuff that's built on top of CUDA. Does that answer your, part of your question? So, okay. I think you, I, some of the stuff is possible we could you, know, you could ship that here's a container or a container from yeah. somewhere someone the had driver is probably harder to deal yeah. with that way the i mean there's always there are ways um relatively simple ways to people can install the the closed source drivers um on fedora um the someone had responded to one of the converse one of the dis discourse posts recently that um like there used to be a way to do it so basically the something called nvidia docker or Docker NVIDIA, I don't remember which way it was, but basically it was a mechanism through which you could expose the GPU to the container, and then you could have all the proprietary stuff with all the pinned versions of things you need in the container and run that on a system that just had the NVIDIA binary driver installed. Um, we can't really do Docker and Fedora anymore, so that stopped working, but there is a new project that is more generic that should be able to work with Podman as far as I know. Um, so that is, as far as I know, someone is working on it, but I don't know all the details. So hopefully that's coming, that will be a way to do it. Um, are there other things uh, that fit into AIML, um, the heterogeneous compute that people are interested in? Other than the stuff that I've kind of been talking about, these are the, uh, the things I know of. Um, but just because I don't know about it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. This is a technical question. Mm. Have, uh, wait for the, can you wait? Here. Wait for the room. Uh, do, do we have an object here defined for the sake or is this the discovery phase of it? More the discovery phase. More it, the discovery. It's something that, like I said, the, it's a combination of revival and creating. Um, the, the old SIGs were dead. Um, we're trying to create something new that either replaces or repurposes existing SIGs. So effectively, no. I mean, that, other than what I've talked about, the trying to get PyTorch to the point where at least it can be accelerated on Fedora without having to go to binary blobs. Mm -hmm. So getting to start off at least with ROCKM. Um, yeah, I, I think it will really help if we have an objective that can evolve over a period mm -hmm. of time. Right, so um, if you have an objective, then you, you can attract more people. Um, it need not be set in stone, it can evolve, right? So that's one thing. The other thing that I wanted, I was interested, um, and this again goes back to uh, the offline conversation that we had about the infrastructure um, for testing some of these stuff. Um, so you, you wanna bring yeah. that up or? Um, yeah, uh, I mean, it's, there's still a lot of questions. Um, one of the things that has become pretty obvious as we're working to package ROCKM is that it needs to be tested in an automated way. Um, it's gonna be somewhat fragile enough that trying to do all of it manually is not going to end well, at least not for my sanity. Um, so there are, there is an open question on how we can test that stuff. Um, the whether technically there is an AMD GPU available in Amazon's cloud that they may or may not allow us access to. Um, I had problems getting to it personally. Huh? No. 
Okay. I like I, said, I don't know. It, like I, said, I, I had, I was very irritated with how difficult it was for me per, on my personal account to get access to the the instance with the AMD GPUs. And there's still an open question of whether it's good enough for Rock App because yeah. it's several generations old and mm -hmm. isn't on AMD's official support no. list for Rock App. I thought I saw one that was much was newer and a, just AMD. They have brand new Nvidia stuff. No, there was a, there was a newer. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, I, like, uh, I can't remember which one it was offhand, though, and I'm too tired. So I thought to, it was like, a, like yes. the V520 is the one that they have, I thought, which is like no, it old was, Navi. Yeah, it was much larger numbers than that, but I don't remember the details. Okay. Um, but David Duncan is here from Amazon, okay. and if anybody can hook us up, it's him. Okay. Um, I, I mean, if, the, there's, if, if we can do this cloud, that would be much easier than anything else I can think of, because the rest of it, like I said, there, there's a lot, there are open questions on, you know, what system we would use to test it. Um, my first thought is OpenQA. If we do that, is there room, you know, in the, the racks that they use in, um, in, uh, in Virginia for, for Fedora Infra? You know, is there funding for the machines that our GPUs would be in? Can we get the GPUs to test with? Is this a good way to route, or good route to go? There's, just, there's a lot of open questions that I don't have answers to. I think the other thing for kind of connecting this to your list of what other people think, things are people are interested in, um, I note that Matt Hicks is interested in the OpenShift data um, science Kubernetes um, GPU okay. computing thing. And so uh, having Fedora provide a good experience that ties in with you know, Kubernetes and the cloud for doing computing would probably um, be helpful in terms of getting positive attention from our large sponsor to us. Not that everything's about Red Hat, just that that's a um, nicely aligned thing right there. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, and, you know, appeal it. speaking surely from a, you know, pragmatic point of view, yes, I do work for Red Hat. I don't know anything more than what we're talking about is, you know, if you want to get funding for something, appeal to a sponsor that has money. Yeah, yeah. Um, going completely the other direction, a mm. thing I think is interesting is um, the, like, was it MicroTorch that, that uh, Peter Robinson was talking about, which is yeah. basically building uh, the models that will then run on like uh, ESP32 or a really tiny microprocessor. And I think like that, having Fedora be an interesting development environment for that would be cool because I, I can see cases where I would like, like I have a, I would like to, um, to be able to recognize whether it's a cat or a human going up and down the stairs at night and not turn the light on for the cat because the cat doesn't need it, but the humans do. And that's like a, that would be kind of a fun little project that probably could fit in that um, with some sensor data. Anyways, yeah. um, but also is probably also of zero interest to Red Hat, but yeah. would be cool. I mean, there, there's some other interesting things that, that Peter brought up on discussion uh, or on discourse um, about you know, some of the OpenCL stuff um, and trying to get it to run on new hardware, especially some of the ARCH64 things. Um, but for, I think for, for the moment, like I said, I think the, the immediate focus is ROCM because in terms of stuff that we can realistically do in a short period of time, that is it. You know, it'd be great if OpenCL stuff works in the future for, for acceleration. It'd be great if we can get NVIDIA stuff to work. It'd be great if we can get Intel stuff to work. But for, in terms of the stuff that is probably um, okay license-wise with Fedora, that probably works, that we can get done in a reasonable amount of time, we're looking at ROCM for the acceleration and then probably PyTorch on top of that. Uh, about the OpenCL, it should be already supported, but I'm not sure how usable that is for like AI and acceleration and so, the, so on. I was talking specifically about, there was a conversation on Discourse about an OpenCL backend um, for PyTorch, which mm -hmm. there, is, there was an experimental one, there was some other support, but it's not anything that is, there were performance issues, there were maintenance issues. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, OpenCL aside, it was that specific backend for PyTorch. I'm sorry, I didn't elaborate on what I meant. Well, uh, I think we only have a couple of minutes left. Um, if no one has, yeah. I'm gonna pass the microphone over to Jeff. Thanks. Um, as far as hardware for Rock M, mm. uh, is it an extensive list of GPUs that are supported? I wish I had a good answer to that question. So like, I will answer it with what I know. 
Um, AMD's officially published documentation on the GPUs that support ROCKM, there are three or four of them, all of which are over $2,000. Um, there are other lists I've seen. I know you don't only, like, that, that's just their list. Um, I know one of the other guys who's working on packaging ha just got a 7600. Uh, I think it was a, one of the, the lowest, end, lowest end of the current gen um, AMD graphics cards. I know you can run on other stuff. I don't know what the official things are. Some stuff works, some stuff doesn't. So long answer, I don't really know. I wish there was a better list. Um, but I, from what I understand, AMD fully intends to have it work on the stuff going forward. So the 7000 series, uh, the current 7000 series of AMD GPUs um, and going forward, I imagine ROCKM will work on in addition to what it already works on, but sure. especially going forward. Any other questions, comments before we wrap up? Okay, well, if uh, folks are certainly interested in this, please uh, you know, keep an eye on discourse. Um, you know, feel free to ask questions in uh, Matrix. Um, if you have other questions or want to talk about other things, um, we have a couple more days. Feel free to come talk to me. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you all for, for showing up and adding input.